counted 17 layups tonight by uh, mm -hmm. SIU Carbondale. Mm -hmm. I suppose it's hard to win a game when you're getting 17 layups. Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> I thought a lot of it came off our turnovers, which um, that's one thing we stressed before the game was we have to take care of the basketball. And uh, I thought we did a poor job of take, you know, taking care of the basketball, and a lot of that led to um, uh, transition layups for them. I think they may have had was 14 transition points, you know, and then they had um, a couple penetration where they got to the basket. But I, most of it though is because of our turnovers. Lennox, was that maybe one reason too where you switched to a zone? They were getting some easy baskets, or were you just uh, well, well, uh, from a defensive um, standpoint. It, uh, it was because we just weren't guarding there. We, we couldn't contain the basketball tonight, too, so we had to switch to a zone. Um, and, uh, you know, it worked uh, for, for a long stretch, and uh, Coach Ensign did a good job and made, you know, uh, great adjustments and start. Um, uh, they got some looks from it, from layups or, or uh, open shots from the perimeter. Gary gave you a couple leads two separate times, two different possessions down the floor, mm -hmm. and then they went on that long run. What? Did you see anything change at that point in the game that not allowed them to pull away a little bit there? Yeah, um, we they went zone. They changed their defense also and went 2-3 uh, zone. I, I, th I thought we did a poor job attacking it. Um, you know, we, we just never got the ball inside out like we talked about and worked on. Um, you know, our guards, I thought our guards wasn't very good tonight. You know, I thought our bigs, from our big standpoint, we got some – Really great minutes from our bigs. Darren Schaefer, Zeke came in, uh, Ray not so much. Uh, but I thought our di bigs did a good job, but I thought our guards were, were very poor tonight. Well, yes. Can you take us through what you saw of the uh, little skirmish and, and what you talked to your team about regarding that afterwards? Um, you know, it's it's uh, what I said to our guys is you, you, got, you always got to play smart. And, um, you know, the, the way you win basketball game is on, is on the scoreboard, you know, not by – um, not because someone's competing against you and, and being physical, you know, and I just thought that we, we lost our cool, um, you know, a little bit of frustration on, on our end, um, you know, but we just got to be a, a, a smarter and, and better team than that. I had the sense, it seemed like just a moment or two before there'd been another little scramble for a loose ball where a, a Saluki, I think, dove on the pile late, and I think you talked to the official about Most it. certainly, and, um, you know, uh, I'm not going to comment about the officials because I don't, I don't have enough money to, to pay uh, for it. But, um, you know, uh, that's, that's just the way it is. I mean, um, you know, I give a lot of credit to uh, Coach Henson and the Salukis. I, I just thought they out toughed us tonight. Did, did you feel like, the like, reason I was asking that was also, did you feel like it was kind of, something was kind of building though? Yeah, kind of in, in some sense, you know, and, and I try to make a point. But um, um, it uh, obviously went on, on notice or, or whatever you want to say about that. Linux, there was like a 20 minute delay as they tried to sort that out. I mean, what impact did that have? And then when they did sort it out, was it, I mean, just what was that like? Waiting around and then seeing you had six guys or five of your guys <laughs> just walk off the bench. Right. Well, you know, it, it was tough um, just because you had to wait as long, but, you know, so did Carbondale. They had to wait just as long. Um, but knowing that we didn't have a lot of our players, um, you know, with six minutes and 16 seconds to go and, you know, you're trying to uh, press a little bit, and, and you know it's late during the game, and you're going to need bodies, and and um, so it, it affects us in that way. But I thought our guys, um, you know, just by the look on their face during that during that long stretch of time, um, and, and knowing that those guys were going to be not be available to play, I thought um, I thought they just had a defeating look, and and, um, and in some ways I kind of thought that was the ball game right there. Well, they have to miss another one game. You know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. I, I mean, we're going to try to. Um, I think it's if you if you're in a fight, and I don't think that was a, a language used by the officials. Uh, so I'm not sure. You know, that's something that we got to figure out um, tomorrow and um, and get the ruling on that to know what we're going to have for the next game. Well, it's 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 you think that it was a fight, but like Barry was saying, it doesn't. It really wasn't. It didn't seem to me there were a lot of punches being. Thrown. No, there. I don't think there was any punches being thrown. Um, I, I think there's, you know, um, just pushing and guys getting guys off each other. And uh, again, you know, our, our guys got to be smarter than that because um, those are things that we address before the season start and throughout times about how you got to be, you got to behave, you know, and you got to have sportsmanship and, you know, and you can't leave the bench. Um, so, you know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, 
I guess I'll take the heat for it from my head coach because you're responsible for your players, and um, and we, we got to learn from it and, and move on. Just to clarify, Lennox, before the ejections for leaving the bench? Uh, correct, correct, yes. Well, yes. Is there a possibility any further punishment or for, for the guys that got ejected or are you going to look at that? Well, that's something that we will look at and talk about and, and, and figure things out. So it's going to be a quick turnaround because we got a, um, another game on, on Saturday. We need to know what, who we were going to have and who we're going to travel with um, to uh, to see if we can, you know, bounce back from this loss tonight. Is that as disappointing as the guys who were on the floor at the time and the fact that we did have four guys who left their posts, so to speak, off on the bench? And yeah, came in? yeah, very, very. Because our guys are way better than that. Uh, but I thought a lot of it too um, led up to the frustration of the fact that, you know, it's a pretty intense game. Um, you know, it's a um, you know our guys wanted to win, uh, but. At the same time, you gotta be able to be be able to compete and, and still keep your cool. Clarence, even before that happened, is, is, there, is there something to this series that, that you both have the Southern Illinois name? I mean, is there is there a certain level of emotion to this this matchup? Well, you know, I mean, when you look at it from our standpoint, it is it is a big game for us. Um, you know, maybe not so for for Carbondale, but for us it is because you know here you are the uh, so-called sister school, and uh, you're trying to make a name for yourself. And you have a team like uh, the Salukis who are, you know, every time you say SIU, everyone thinks of the Salukis, and you want to make a name for yourself. And um, so this game was probably, you know, an important game for us. Um, and, um, it, you know, we, we wish we could have um, done a better job. But again, you know, it, it had a lot to do with how hard uh, Carbondale played and uh, how well they played. And, and um, again, you know, it was a tie ball game, and we took the lead. and. You know they uh, they regrouped and and um, build a lead and took the stretch and obviously win the game. So often you see when when the team does overtake, that that's that's the moment where you really have a chance. And, and, and it seemed like I don't know if you guys got deflated or they got energized there. But what what do you think happened in that sequence right after you took the lead? Well, I thought you know their defense kind of um, slowed us down. They their defense gave, uh, made us very passive. Uh, they went to a zone defense and. And uh, we just weren't aggressive against it, like uh, like we talked about. Matter of fact, we played one of the uh, exhibition games, uh, the second one, McMurray, and they played a lot of two-three zone. And in the second half, I thought we attacked it better uh, by being aggressive. And tonight, <coughs> we went back to the first half of how we played against McMurray, just really, really passive, and uh, shoot a lot of jump shot instead of attacking um, the rim. Yeah, hey, uh, let me this question about July that Jonas didn't start tonight. Was that just a any, anything into that? Or I think you had two different starts in line with Duncan and, uh, or I'm sorry, with Johnson in there and also uh, Schaefer. Yeah, well, Schaefer is normally a, a starter for us. He didn't start last game, um, but uh, Jones didn't start because I expect, you know, things from our guys on and off the floor. Um, it wasn't anything major, um, but at the same time, you know, I, I expect our guys to be perfect, and, and I understand that they're not. Um, but you, you try to teach them life lessons as you try to teach them basketball. And it was just more of a life lesson um, uh, situation more than more than anything. I mean, he's, um, he's uh, you know, he continued to work hard, and I'm still relying on him to, to really help us a lot this, this year. Yeah, this he did. Energized. He maybe had a quick bucket to get a nice block there. And then Certainly it, did. It wasn't like he was, obviously, the other yeah, night. You know, and he was, he was fired up. He was fired up, he, you know, and... You know, sometimes you know when you, when you have a guy that, that comes in and, and he's been your starter and um, and he does a start. You know, sometimes that yeah. kind of killed that. But uh, but for him though, he was he understand the situation of what happened and and uh, he was ready to go. I mean, he wasn't gonna bother him. Do you think Mark Mark looked more like himself maybe the night too? He, he, he played a good game, especially in the first half. Yellow. Yeah, you know he did, but. Uh, Again, as I look at the stats, he's four for ten. I mean, we got to get that up. You know, we got to get him. I mean, because um, after the Missouri game, he only took five shots, and the the, the um, Western Illinois game, I think he had 14 shots tonight. He had 10, and didn't play the last six minutes and 16 seconds. And uh, so he's getting more shots, but I like to see him be a little bit more efficient. Um, you, you know, with his shot attempts. Darian Schaefer, I mean, double double tonight. He led all scores. I mean, he was. No, he, you know what? He was um, he, he was he was a bright spot um, tonight. I mean, he played played on both ends of the floor. I thought tonight he did some incredible thing, 
the thing about Darian though is, you know, he was awesome in practice. You know, this week he had one of his best practices, um, and it and it obviously showed tonight by how well he played. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thanks, folks. Thanks a lot.